G'day viewers, welcome back to another video. I'm trying to pump these out as best as I can in case I have surgery soon, so that's why the run of me, uh, videos. Today I've got some memory BGA and flat pack BGAs that were soldered onto circuit boards, etc. These aren't the gold corner BGAs, these are just the standard BGA. I'm not up to date with the exact stats of these. But if the gold corner BGA puts out up to 10 grams per kilo and ICs are only four, I'm guessing these are somewhere around six to eight grams of gold per kilo. So all of these are going to need to be soaked in hydrochloric acid to get all this tin off the solder. But, uh, first we need to weigh because a lot of people are asking me for starting amounts and yields at the end so they can work out how economical or you know whether it's worth it now as you would have seen in my gold corner bga video the uh kitchen scales are broke so the only way i can weigh this up is with my small gold precision scales which means small amounts at a time i'll put this bowl on here that seems to cover the base nicely and I'll tear it if I can find the right button hang on I hit the wrong one okay, so that's grams hard to get in there okay so that's teared off let's make sure it's on there properly still teared yep all right, now it goes up to 200 grams, so I'm going to have to do several small amounts. I'll get my girlfriend to put them in there while I video over here so I can see what number it is. Up to 72 grams, 140 grams. Oh, you went too far. Take some off. Okay, 190, no, too far. 195, a little bit more, a little bit more, no, it will stop, 197, 198, a bit more, 198, yeah, I love that, 200 grams on the, well, 200 point zero zero six. all right, so that's 200 grams, there we go again. I'm guessing it's probably about a kilo, maybe maybe 800 grams at all up, we'll see. All right, so we got 133, 182, slow down. 194, 196. Mm, that'll do. Point, point zero 0.05 off, no, you went too far. That'll do, 200 grams, that's 400 grams. And some change. Make sure it's in the middle. One nineteen. One four. One fifty seven. One seventy five. One seventy nine. 182, 190, 97, right, that'll do, that's uh, 600, so it's almost uh, 600.1 at the moment because there's a little bit every time, and then the last of it to go in now, 50, 50 so 53, right, so if we say with all the little bits that was extra on top, uh, so 600 and let's just call it 660 grams, not far off, 7 grams, 700 grams. All right, so that's it. 760 grams is our start. Um, 660 grams is our start. Okay, so I've got the BGAs in a beaker with hydrochloric acid. They just poured it in there and put it on the, a hot plate. It hasn't even got hot yet, and you can see there's already a reaction. And every so often I'll give it a stir 
make sure that they all get acid coating they're not pressing up against others that can't get it and uh, I'll give it probably half an hour on the heat it doesn't have to be very hot we'll see what happens okay so they were soaking in hydrochloric acid on heat for about half an hour or so there was no more reaction no more bubbles coming up so I've drained it off I've kept the hydrochloric acid, I'll use it again some other time for the same sort of thing, I'll keep it labelled used hydrochloric acid and so now these are just going to sit until um, I put them in a tin in the fire I'm currently using the fire for another video and once that's done I'll put these in and, and roast them okay so I've put half of them into the tin and I left the other half in the beaker you see lots of gold on them um, so I'm going to get the fire happening now and roast those I didn't put them all in at once because the ones on the bottom won't get oxygen and won't um, uh, what's the word for it I can't think now they, they oxidise they won't oxidise if I put too many in and what I do is once the fire, I get the fire happening, once the fire burns down, I pick them up the channel locks and give it a shake and turn the ones on the bottom up to the top, stoke it up again, and then they're good to go. I'll put the next lot in. Well, I've got them all in there and they're glowing nicely. They're all nice and white and I give them a bit of a shake up and make sure they're all switched around. Nearly ready. Beautiful. Switched them all around. It's all glowing bright red in there. You can't see now because the light's on, but yeah, well, it should be beautiful in there, all nice and toasted. Okay, so I've got the blender out while I was using it for the gold corner BGOs, and I'm going to make the use of it being out and do my RAM BGOs now. Um, you can see there's a lot of glass, a lot of circuit dies. So I'm not going to get a whole lot broken down, but I'm going to do the best I can and get as much of it broken up as I can into a powder. So there's a fair bit here, so I'll do some small loads in here. Probably half a barrel at a time. We'll see. See how it goes. And uh, I'm not going to go through the whole sieving thing. You've seen it last time in the, in the IC chip video. There was plenty of sieving there. Basically, I'm just going to put it in here, blend it, sieve it, get some more, put it in there, blend it, sieve it. Whatever doesn't go through the sieve will go through the blender again and again and again and again until I'm sure that I've got everything. All right, so I'll get back to it. Okay, so just the same as with the Gold Corner BGAs, uh, there's only so much that can break down with the blender. A lot of this is all glass, I see, uh, what do you circuit dies? Um, I've blended this one about four times nothing else is coming out so this is under the first load I've still got all the stuff in there I'm just doing one load until I can't get any more then that'll go into here and I'll do another load I'll keep doing that till it's all done now I'm going to wash away any of the, the light ash that I don't need there's a very lengthy um, uh, video about this on my uh, seven kilos of ICs a very very long demonstration there probably too long so I won't do it all again here basically just going to put some water in there and then let it sit for just a second or two for the heavy things to fall down then pour it into here and then fill this up again and then let, the, let it sit for a second or two and then pour the ash into here and so on keep going backwards and forwards till there's no ash there will be some some heavies that have gone across into there. I'll tip that back in here. It's been five days since I uh, roasted and crushed these. I haven't been able to start them yet because I've run out of beakers. I don't have any spare beakers. Uh, they break every so often and I've gone through so many this year. If anybody would like to make donations to my channel, I uh, would certainly appreciate it. I'd better buy some more glassware. Um, it can either be emailed to my PayPal or Western Union. 
I'll give the details in the description. Be much appreciated for those who do donate. Thank you so much. Okay, I finally got a spare beaker. Um, I have cleaned it. A lot of my beakers look dirty. Uh, this has been soaking in boiling hot water, soap in there, as well as bleach, scrubbed with a scour. I just can't get these things clean. So before you think I'm using dirty beakers all the time, uh, it has been cleaned. So I'm gonna start doing some of these BGAs. I won't put all that in one hit because I think there'll be a chance that some of the solution won't get to it if it's too thick at the bottom. I'm gonna break this into two lots. So I'll do half of that now. I'll put it into this beaker. I'll do that and I'll come back because I need two hands. There was less in the bucket than I thought. It looked like a lot in the bucket, but that's that's not a bad thickness there. I'm happy with that. So that's the whole lot in there. Now I need to get rid of this tap water in case there's silver in there. Yeah, there most likely will be silver in there. So I'm gonna pour as much as I can out. I'm gonna put some distilled water in there, rinse it, pour it out, put some more in there. I'll do that three times in the hope that I get all the chlorinated water out because I don't want the silver to turn into silver chloride. And I'll do that now and I'll come back. It's been washed three times with distilled water, poured out each time, and I've just gone and put some more water in there, distilled water. Now I'm gonna add some nitric acid, put the lid on, and leach out any base metals. See, instantly I've got a violent reaction. There's a lot of base metals in there, so it's a good sign. I'll just keep going now, adding small amounts of nitric each time so I don't waste it. Uh, when it's time the reaction stops, I'll add some more and so on until it stops. Okay, so I've taken out all the solution and I've put aqua regia in there and you start seeing fumes are appearing. Uh, it's time to start getting the gold. You see the gold down in there. It's been four days now and I've been adding more and more nitric and still plenty of fumes, plenty of reaction. After four days, I can't get over it. I'm thinking that with the BGAs, the gold corner BGAs, I did that many extractions. This time I just try and keep going, keep going, get all the gold in one hit. And uh, yeah, so it's working. I've been putting more nitric in than I did with the gold corners. I'm getting more of a reaction. When I only put a tiny bit in there, it looked, before it looked like there wasn't much of a reaction, which is why I did so many extractions. So, getting all the gold. Okay, this is, uh, it's getting a bit, a bit ridiculous now. This solution has been on for six days and still giving off fumes. I don't know if you can see them. There's very much fumes in here, that's for sure. So, I don't know, I can't explain why they're still giving off fumes. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter it and I'll probably need to use some sulfamic because obviously there's still nitric in there for it to be giving fumes off. And then I'll put an, a fresh batch of aquaridia into the sediment down there and see if I can retrieve whatever else is still dissolving while this is filtering and getting the gold because oh, I don't know why it's just taking forever. It's just ridiculous after six days. So I'll take that off, start filtering it. I'll do it into a fresh beaker and I've got a nice clean beaker here, or as clean as I can get it. And uh, I'll leave that sediment in there and put some new AR in there. I've got a cotton ball in the neck of the funnel with a filter and I'm going to filter this RAM uh, solution into here and then drop whatever gold's there and as I said before I'll run another batch of AR in through the, all the sediment and see if I can get any more. Well the solution for the RAM BGAs has all been filtered uh, it's nice and clear, although you can't quite tell because it's dark. I don't know why it's so dark. 
I've got some um, sulfamic acid in there to denox it, just in case there's a bit of excess nitric in there. And it's uh, pretty much ready to come off the heat now. I'll turn it off, let it cool, and we'll drop the gold tomorrow. Alright, so I was going to drop the gold tomorrow, but it's a fairly cool night and it's actually cooled down really fast. Um, it's clear enough, it's been filtered. So I'm going to drop the gold now. It's been uh, denoxed, as you can see, there's uh, no silly reaction going on. So I'll wait till I see a white foam. Hopefully, I'll put enough SMB. Here we go, there's the foam. I'll just put the remainder of this in. I'll have to squirt this in. <coughs> okay, I think it needs a little bit more SMB. I'm really happy with the white foam. I think it could go better than that. Um, it's got a colour change happening, but... I think I'll put some more in, I'll just let this settle. You can see it's all reacting in there. If you go close, you'll be able to see it's all reacting. I'll wait till it settles down. And I'll do a test to see if it's still golden solution. If there is, I'll put some SMB in off camera. If not, we'll see the gold tomorrow. Okay, it was an hour ago that I put the SMB in. And even though it's gone a nice brand, you can see that it's... Uh, well, I can tell that it hasn't quite finished changing colour. It's just stalled. It's at a, a point where it just needs to do something more. So I did a check on it and very much still positive for gold. Now my bucket of SMB is empty. I need to open a new bag tomorrow. I'll carry on in the morning. But you know, it's going to be a uh, very nice dark brown when I'm finished. I put all the residue from the RAM chips as well as the tiny bit of residue from the transistor video in there. I put some aqua rouge in and straight away fumes. So there's still plenty of gold to be got in there. So it'll take its course. Well, the solution needed a lot more SMB. I ended up splitting into two because there wasn't enough room. So now both of these have had a lot more SMB. This is insane. Two hours later, and some more nitric later, still putting off fumes. How much gold can there possibly be? As you can see, the fumes are very, very slight. They've died right down. And I put some more, uh, some more nitric in there, and there's been no change at all. There's not even a hint of any more fumes. Just what's already there. So I think it's finally done. Now I'll just let these fumes finish off until there's absolutely nothing and then cool down and then filter it. The gold has dropped from both of these. Even though it's a dark colour, it's still clear enough to see the, the gold in the bottom. I'm not sure why it's dark, but my SMB does that a lot. But uh, something happened to this one only very slightly you see here, the gold colour on the glass. It's uh, the same thing that happened with the transformer, the transistors. Look at the gold stuck all over the glass. It's the same as this one here. So what I'm going to do with the other one is, uh, with the other flask there, is when it's empty and clean, I'll boil some aqua regia in there and that'll dissolve the gold off the glass. And then I'll put it in this one and get this bit of gold as well. There might be some more in there I can't see, but definitely this bit here. I wouldn't worry about it if it was only this one, but because the flask needs doing anyway, I might as well do this as well. I haven't looked at this one here to see if it's on here yet. But uh, it's the first time I've ever seen it. When I saw the flask, I couldn't believe it. It seems to go right around the top of this one. But there's a bit of gold there, so I'll be filtering this off. You can see on here there is some gold floating on the surface. Might be why it's dark because there's gold in suspension. So I'm going to have to filter it and then show you what the gold looks like. I might have to refine it once because it looks like it's going to be black. 
So I'll catch it all on the filter and then maybe we'll see when I get there, I might refine it. I've nearly finished uh, filtering one of the two beakers and you can see there's quite a nice bit of gold in there. So that's just one, imagine how much is in the other one as well. And there's still the residue which I've got more gold from which I'll be filtering once I all these beakers are free. Man, I need some more glassware. I broke so many this year, I ran out and there was things I've got to, on hold. I haven't even done my LED globes because I've got no beakers to use. So now I can start washing these up and getting them used. That's a nice pile of gold for just one beaker. The other one is here. There's going to be a lot of gold in that one too. So there's also quite a bit of gold caught in these filters. That's going to be good. Okay, so the RAM BGAs are done. Um, dried all the gold. And the problem is when I was scraping it out of the barrel I've got a lot of gold dust caught in my brush so I'm not going to be able to get a good reading I don't even know how to get that out now I'll probably just soak it and make a ridge here I don't know how much is in there but the gold that I have collected I think is a fairly good amount I don't know 4.96 here that's about right I think I had a bit more than that it's obviously stuck in the brush still some in the glass here five on the dot wow I think that's pretty good for some RAM BGAs we didn't have a whole lot but there was a pile there so there you go and uh, that's another video done thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe I need all the subscribers I can get I have had a few recently and I want to say thank you so much to those people uh, catch you on the next video